friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've been doing great. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my favorites from March and April. I didn't really have enough stuff in March to do a full dedicated video to my March favorites, so I thought I would just combine these two months and share with you what I've been loving lately. So the first item that has been a favorite of mine is this Yord watch. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's made out of wood and it's a rose gold tint. I've been thinking that I would really like to get a watch because um, I don't really like my daughter Sophia who's trying really trying to imitate Ben and I and everything that we do I don't really like her seeing me look at my phone as a watch because I don't want her to I don't know want to imitate this of always checking my screen so I was thinking I would really like to have an old-school timepiece that I can just look at my wrist to tell the time so when Yard reached out to me about their wood timepieces I was just really impressed with the quality. I checked out their website just to make sure that they were sustainable and ethically sourced in their materials, and they are, and the design of their pieces are just so unique, and I want to give you a good look at that. And it's one of those things that as a mom, I don't wear a whole lot of jewelry. I wear maybe earrings, but necklaces are just not really practical for me right now. So having a, something that's practical like a really pretty timepiece. This is just a really fun way to dress up my outfit. And like I said, it keeps me from checking my phone too often, especially in front of my little one. So I've been really loving just this design and the color is gorgeous. I love so I was really excited to partner with Yord, not only because that they're a sustainable ethical company and that they make these gorgeous timepieces, but because they want to offer a giveaway to all of you. So this giveaway is actually $100 certificate that you can use through their website. So they have different gorgeous timepieces for women. They have handsome pieces for men. Something that I think that's really neat about these watches is that you can get them engraved as well. So if there's something that you're wanting to commemorate, like a, a certain uh, wedding anniversary or a birthday or a promotion or just something that is really special and significant in someone's life, you can have that engraved or or even just a sweet message on the watch. So I think this is a really neat option for a meaningful gift, this luxury wood watch. And they also make bands, wood bands for Apple watches. If you already have like a smart watch, you can get the band for it. So if this sounds like it's something you're interested in entering this giveaway, I would recommend looking at their website. They have gorgeous, gorgeous photos. Their Instagram feed is just drool worthy of all of their beautiful wood time pieces. So you'll find the information below to enter this giveaway. You will be taken to an external site where they'll ask you for your name and your email, and then uh, you will be entered into the giveaway. My second favorite is this BB cream by Burt's Bee. I've been looking for something to put on that would just be really quick if I didn't have a lot of time to do a full face contour highlighting uh, routine. So this is a really nice option. I love Burt's Bees anyway. I use a lot of Burt's Bees stuff for my daughter Sophia. And so it has natural ingredients in it. Of course it has sunscreen in it which is really important to me. The amount of pigment color that it has to me is just perfect. It's not too much. It's not too little. It gives me coverage that I love. So I really, really like this BB cream, especially because it has noni extract in it, which is great for your skin. And I would probably stick with this BB cream from here on out, except that it's an SPF 15 and I would really love to have an SPF 30. So I'm going to be sad not to be using this after I use this all up. I've been loving it so far. It's a great go-to, especially for a busy mom who just needs to put on some of this, maybe some mascara and chapstick and go out the door. The next thing I've been loving are two essential oils from a, com a new company that I've discovered called Eden's Garden. And uh, I learned about it from a friend who just couldn't seem to stomach the multi-level marketing markup on oils like doTERRA and Young Living. So Eden's Garden is actually been voted the number one non-multi-level marketing company for selling essential oils. And a lot of their blends are, they actually have a list of how they compare to doTERRA. So if you're used to doTERRA oils and uh, you know their names, they have a side-by-side -side list to show you well, like this is our version of that particular blend. So I decided to get these two blends. This one is called the Love Blend. It has a kind of a citrusy smell to it. I love it during the daytime. It's it just kind of gives me a boost and it makes me feel good and feminine and I've used this in, to replace my 
perfumes because I don't want to use artificial fragrances anymore. I don't really respond well to them, but I like to smell good, so this is kind of nice to not only smell good, but there are some oils in here that are really great for women just to help you balance your hormones and to boost your mood. The second one is this Allure blend, and it's similar to doTERRA's Whisper, which also has some great essential oils, particularly for women, for women's health. So I've really been enjoying this. This one is kind of a rich, chocolatey smell, and I think it's great for evening. So I kind of switch up the two, one for daytime and one for evening. And so these two, you can dilute in something like coconut oil, and you can put it in a roll-on, or you can make a, a body mist by adding it to distilled water and adding in your essential oils to dilute it. Perhaps a little bit of oil if you're doing water as well, just a tiny bit of maybe coconut oil in this too. So I've really kind of been studying up on Eden's Garden the, as a company. They're oils are very high quality. They are comparable to doTERRA and Young Living, except that you cannot ingest them. So what I've decided to do is buy all of my topical oils and my aromatherapy oils through Eden's Garden, and then maybe the ones that I'm wanting to take internally, I will splurge on something like doTERRA or Young Living. Uh, Eden's Garden, I love their branding. Not that that's that important. They have all kinds of meats. When you make your purchase, they have this really neat booklet that has tons of recipes for self-care, for cleaning the home, for gifts, for all kinds of things. So this was a neat resource to receive with my oils. I've loved peeking through and, and making plans for the different recipes to try. So speaking of health, I have to share with you something else I've been loving. You may have heard of kombucha and tried it and loved it. I, I really enjoy kombucha, but I've been a little bit intimidated on brewing my own and I may try it at some point. But I heard about another probiotic drink called kefir water that seemed a lot more simpler to brew at home. So it's basically these little crystals that you place in a jar and you add to it just sugar water and you cover it with a coffee filter and a band and you leave it for a couple of days in a warm place and it makes this really delicious fizzy water that you can then add juices to of whatever flavor you want and what happens is the, is the crystals eat up the sugar and carbonate the water. So this is like a carbonated soda. It almost tastes like an Izzy with the juices that I put in here. And it's super good for your for your tummy. It has all kinds of probiotics in it. So I highly recommend trying kefir crystals as your foot in the door to brewing a probiotic drink at home. So I ordered mine on Amazon from Florida Sun Kefir. I'll have the information and links below for anything that I'm talking about in this video. And it was just super simple how they laid out the instructions on how to get started. So I'd love to know if you decide to give this a try. So something else I've been loving is the Magnolia Journal. I featured this in a giveaway recently and there was a mix up in my order. I ordered through a company on Amazon, so it's kind of a funny story. And they sent me actually the wrong magazine. I was sent a sports illustrated swimsuit edition. And I remember just pulling it out and like, oh my goodness, what is this? This is not what I ordered. And I remember just like hiding it where like no one would come across it, like my daughter or Ben. It's like, this is, I want this out of my house basically. So I wrote them and I was like, this is not what I ordered. This is a totally inappropriate. And so I was a little bit, a little bit peeved. So they were super, super nice and apologized, gave me a full refund, sent me what I had ordered when I had actually bought a replacement at the store. So I ended up with two and got to keep one. And then they also sent me something else that's a favorite. They sent me a bonus magazine as a way to say sorry um, called The Farmhouse Movement. So I'm going to talk a little bit about both of these and why I have loved them. So the Magnolia Journal, this is the first edition that I have ever owned. It's basically all that I expect it to be. There's some really great articles in here, recipes. I love all of the inspiration for the home. Uh, this one particularly focused on entryways and the laundry space. And so there's just some neat simplicity in here. I love the focus on getting back to uh, pretty much the simple things, the things that matter in life. So this is really good. I would love to subscribe to this magazine at some point. So now on to the farmhouse movement. When I received this, the cover really drew me in. However, the title, I I don't know, I kind of thought it was a little bit cheesy on the cheesy side. <laughs> but as I read it, um, I love the content 
of this magazine. Not only is it kind of captures, uh, similarly to the Magnolia Journal, just a more simplistic way of living and design in the home, they have a big emphasis on natural living. So there is just a lot of practical helps and tips in here for caring for your family, caring for your home in a holistic and natural way. And then also getting back to simpler and intentional living. And this one I love so much that I actually subscribed to this magazine and I signed up to be a partner. So if you're interested in checking out the farmhouse movement, you will find a partnership link below for this magazine. And some things that I love about it is just they have like some recipes for natural cleaning. They have some subjects that I want to be thinking about but maybe you don't naturally come to think about. Uh, so one of the articles were uh, mindfully made products. So thinking about if the products we're using in our home are ethically sourced. You know, like I mentioned, your watches being ethically sourced. You know, what else are we putting in our homes? Is it ethically sourced as well? Or is it made and gathered in ways that are not something that we would really want to support if we knew about? So I have just loved having these two magazines beside my bed to read in the evenings. I'm trying to get away from screen time before bed. So this has been just really nice to pick up and, and look at the beautiful photographs and to read the articles that get me really thinking about being intentional in my home and how to do a better job in my home and uh, just be inspired by decorating and different stuff like that. Well friends, I hope you enjoyed joining me in this favorites video. Don't forget to sign up to join this giveaway with your watches. You'll find that information uh, directly below on how you can enter into the giveaway. Well friends, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.